Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install Backtrack on VMware Workstation. It's quite easy, you're going to need to get Backtrack. So just type it in here. Go to here. That's backtrack minus linux.org. And we just want to go to downloads. Here we go, here we go. You can register for your download if you want to, but you can just do this. Now you pick your version, so I like Backtrack R3 on GNOME or KDE and whichever one you want. Then you just click to download. So you can get a VMware one already if you want it, but I'm going to show you how to install it from the ISO because from that you can also make it into a bootable USB, which comes in handy. So you just click to download and blah 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 it'll pop up in a moment give it a minute and there it is which I don't want to download it you can get it from torrent which is a lot quicker you just download through the torrent if you go back here see so you go torrent which is a lot better but anyway that's where you find it backtracklinux.org slash downloads now once you've downloaded it you're going to need to go file new virtual machine typical next you get installer disk image an ISO because it will be an ISO and I'm going to go R3 GNOME 32-bit I've got a 32-bit you can use 64 but I want to use 32-bit because I'm going to make I'm also going to use this to make a bootable USB later on down the track and not all hardware can run 64-bit most of it is capable nowadays but Still, if you jump on an old machine and you want to penetrate something that you haven't, you know what I mean, you go in somewhere, you're going to penetrate something, well, you might not be able to do it with the 64-bit. Could not detect the operating system, we don't care. It is a Linux, and it you just go Ubuntu, because it's close enough. And we're going to call it back track R3. Or backtrack 5 R3, sorry. Next, maximum 20 gigs, plenty for backtrack. Finish. Now this will just do its little magic. Give it a minute. on this virtual machine. Now Backtrack is a live thing so you can just put in the CD and use it if you want to. You can burn it to a CD and just put it in, well a DVD really, and just put it in and use it. Easy as that. But you can install it too. You might want it as an operating system because it will work a lot quicker when it's installed on your hard drive. Now it's just booting up. Just press enter there to boot. Now we want to go default boot text mode. And it will load up all its stuff. If you've got a lot to say, the quieter you are, the more you are able to hear. I really do like that. So this will just load up. Now from here, you won't be thinking, what do I do here? Start X to get into the graphical mode. It's all you really need to do. Start X and this will just load up the graphics. So here we go. We want to install Backtrack. Just double click on that. And it'll come up with the installation thing. Give it time. Choose an English forward. Oh, 
want to make sure that it's on the network. Go to settings, network adapter, NAT, yep, that's good. Time zone, Sydney, Australia, that's right. C1825, 625, and I'm from Australia, as you might be able to tell from my accent. Keyboard layout, USA, that's the sort of keyboard I use here. Erase entire disk, yes. Which it's got nothing on it anyway. And here we go, install. So this will just go along and install. While it's installing, you can watch videos on my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash here's Jake and 89. There's plenty of good videos if you want to check them out. If not, well, too bad for me. And it's just doing its last little bit. There we go, installation is finished. You can continue testing, but you but until you restart the computer, any changes you make, blah blah blah, will not be preserved. So what we want to do now is we want to go settings and go to C D and we will just use physical. So we don't need the C D anymore. Oh hold on. We can't do that. We're going to cancel. We'll go restart now. And that's when we want to do it. So now. Um, to. Oh, please remove installation. Hold on. We want to press enter. And then. We want to use a physical drive. Okay, so now it'll be booting off your installed medium. It'll boot the same way. Backtrack login. Be root. Oh, I'll click on it. Root. The password I'm pretty sure is Tor root backwards. T double O R. Now you're logged in as root. You can start X. Enter. And here we go. In we go. <coughs> Obviously backtrack's installed. But in here there's all, you know, all of your tools. And blah blah blah, which I'll go into another day. Alright, thank you. And 
See you later.